Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Explore Me East Coast. So I'm starting here next to the River Ulm in Northumberland. Uh, there's three stations to visit today, but before we start, welcome to Flights and Times. So normally I'd start these videos at one of the stations that I'm visiting, however today I've decided to start this one alongside the River Ulm near Ulmouth. Um, obviously Ulmouth is named for being at the mouth of the River Ulm. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to explore this town a bit and then we'll head back up to the station and um, go from there. So yeah, here's a bit of Ulmouth. You may notice this is not Ulmouth. I've had a wander around the very beautiful village, uh, however there wasn't really anywhere suitable for me to film and narrate at the same time. Um, I've not got voiceover down to a T yet, so what you're going to get is now a little bit of time with some nice music and the stunning scenery and beautiful buildings of the village of Almuth. So I'm back at Almuth Station, officially this is Almuth for Annick, as the station signs say, uh, however it is in neither Almuth or Annick, it's in fact in the village of Hipstone. Um, Almuth is about a mile's walk in that direction, Annick is about three miles in that direction. Um, there is an ad hoc bus service, very ad hoc, um, from outside the station here or if you walk quarter of a mile down to the main road there is a more regular bus uh, down to Almuth and also connects it to Morpeth, Berwick etc. Um, Annick again those buses down on the main road connect up to the Annick where there's the castle um, and a more main market town etc. Um, so yeah Almuth for Annick has um, plenty to do about um, around here you just need to walk a little bit to get to the places in terms of a rail service Alma for Annick gets about a train an hour um, very vague I know but I can't work the timetable out um, some LNR services stop here some cross-country services stop here I think some TPE services stop here and there's also then two trains a day uh, by Northern um, but yeah essentially it's about hourly in each direction um, sometimes it occasionally misses one sometimes it's more regular but um, essentially check your train times before you travel um, and yeah that's Alma for Annick um, I'm meant to be getting on a train back to Newcastle now to get a very important train. However, it appears just after I got here earlier, a train has hit a pigeon, uh, which has caused a few issues. So essentially, I'm going to see what trains I can get, eventually get back to Newcastle or Morpeth and work out the rest of the plan from there. Uh, so I don't know what station we're going to be at next um, because it all depends on what I can achieve. Um, so cut to the next station. Success, we are back on plan. Thankfully, after my last piece of camera at Almuth, trains got up and running again. Uh, a couple of special stop orders and a change of plan from changing at Newcastle to changing at Morpeth means we are here at station number two of this Explore East Coast, Acklington. 
Acklington is Northumberland's least used station. Uh, had about 60, 66, I think, um, entries and exits in the last period of data, uh, which means just 33 people used the station. Uh, it's been me and one other guy who got off the train here. Um, so yeah, very least used. So why is Acklington Northumberland's least used station? Well, it's probably for two reasons. Firstly, it only sees three trains a day. Uh, one northbound in the evening um, that serves Almouth and Chathill. Uh, and two southbound, one in the morning and one in the evening. Uh, both, again, start at Chathill, um, have Almouth as the intermediate station here, and then all stations to Newcastle. Um, so yeah, three trains a day, uh, and only one of those being northbound. Uh, you could just about commute to Newcastle uh, from here, but you'd have uh, quite a long day. Uh, the southbound trains at about uh, 7.30 in the morning. Um, so yeah, it'd be quite a long day at work. Uh, the second reason it is probably Northumberland's least used station is there's nothing here. Um, there's the old station uh, and a good shed uh, that are now private residences. There's a small village in that direction uh, and there's a caravan and campsite. Um, but that's pretty much all there is here at Almouth. Um, two track East Coast mainline plenty of non-stop through services um, but yeah that's it this is Acklington So as I hinted at, a number of stations on this section of the East Coast Main Line only receive three or four trains a day. Um, with this journey back to Newcastle, that's the end of this day of exploring the East Coast. However, there is one more station in this episode yet to come. So by the power of editing, I will see you there tomorrow. Station 3, Widrington. Um, again, two platform northern station, um, one northbound or two southbound trains stop here, uh, no northbound morning service, um, just the southbound and then in the evening, the northbound that I've just got off, uh, and the southbound uh, that will be through in about an hour and ten minutes, which I'll be getting back. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's another one of these awkward stations ticked off. Uh, level crossing just at the north end. Um, a waiting shelter uh, and timetable thing. Um, and yeah, so there's a big park next to me uh, and it looks like on Google there's shops etc. So I'm going to have a bit of a wander and see uh, what there is in Widrington. So it turns out the village of Widrington itself is about a mile and a bit in that direction. Uh, that has a grade one listed church, uh, ruins of a castle uh, and is the old estate village. Uh, this um, village around the station is called Widrington Station uh, and grew up around a brickworks that were just to the east of the railway here. Um, that's long gone um, but the the main village here um, remains. Um, the old station building uh, adjacent to the southbound platform is a private residence as you'd expect. Um, but yeah, not much here unless you want to walk the mile and a bit to um, Widrington itself uh, and unfortunately getting the one train a day back um, one of two trains a day back uh, don't really have time to do that unfortunately 
Um, so yeah, I've just been to the Chippy, uh, Widdy Chippy, if you're ever in the area, uh, I'd certainly recommend that. Uh, but yeah, um, unfortunately nothing really here at Widrington. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit and wait for the train back. Um, and when I'm back at Newcastle, I'll probably reflect on this episode. Uh, so, see you back at Newcastle. So, I'm back at Newcastle and that's the end of this episode of Explore Me East Coast. Um, quick summary, uh, Almuth for Annick, uh, nice station, nice walk down to Almuth, uh, not very well connected to Annick unless you get a taxi. Um, Acklington and Widrington, um, I think if there was more trains, more people would use it, Acklington maybe not so much, uh, although I'm sure it's probably only a 5-10 minute drive from quite a lot of other villages, but certainly Widrington if you had more than one train one train circuit that worked then more people would use it the aid old thing build it people will come so yeah that's it for this episode thank you for watching see you next time